All right. No, wait. Come sorry. On. Bring the GoPro. Bring the okay, GoPro. Wait. Let's figure this out. The mystery of what drives us to make connections with certain individuals and to associate with groups is one that has intrigued humankind for centuries. Yet perhaps clues lie with the other creatures on our planet. In Kenya, the county of Laikipia is one of the few regions in Africa with two zebra species. While at a distance they seem similar, the plain zebra and the grevy zebra are distinct in appearance and behavior. The tall, pointed ears of the plains are contrasted by the oval ears of the grevies. The wide stripes on the plain zebra cover its entire body, while the thinner stripes on the grevies stop short at the belly. The grevy zebras are notably larger, though vastly fewer in number. But even zebras of the same species have unique stripe patterns, similar to individualized human fingerprints. To find individuals such as Herbert, we use a program called Hotspotter, which involves adding images of the zebras that we take each day and putting it into the Hotspotter program and querying the pictures to see if it comes up in our database. For example, I just queried a picture that I think is Herbert, and all the results here show 007, which is Herbert's ID, so it is Herbert. Once identified, the relationships and interactions between individuals can be analyzed in social network mapping. This social map is just one representation of the many social systems that are designed to ensure survival. In plain zebra society, Multiple females form associations with one dominant male. In turn, the stallion provides protection against predators and other males, allowing females to graze safely and efficiently. In the Grevy's social system, however, the connections that females form are much more fluid. In a single day, a female Grevy may choose to graze and mate in multiple areas patrolled by different territorial males. The grevies make individual decisions, and so all the individuals are included in the grevy network, not just the males. The territorial males are represented by red circles, just like the stallions, and this shows all the different females that are associated with each different territorial male. His territory has great vegetation and is right next to the safest drinking point. Unfortunately, this society often forces the female grevy to traverse the dangerous plains alone, making her more vulnerable. The greater the herd size, the greater the chance of detecting an encroaching predator before it's too late. And for any animal alone and unaware, the wild rarely gives second chances. Lions may be the most ferocious threat while drinking, but sometimes zebras are deterred by other unexpected guests. Historically, the grevies and plain zebras inhabited primarily different landscapes with small areas of overlap. Originally adapted to the semi-arid environment of northern Africa, competition with cattle herders forced the grevies farther south into Lycipia, a region dominated by plain zebras. Predation, loss of habitat, and competition for resources has left the grevies with a population of less than 2,000. Grevy zebras are an endangered species. They've been pushed out of the core area, their historical range, by competition with pastoral people and their herds. Their beautiful hides made them ripe for poaching, and numbers dropped precipitously. But even after the ban, on selling the skins, the numbers have not come back. As the grevy zebras come down and extend their range further south, certain pockets are found where the grevy's is very, very rare and where the sex ratio gets skewed, where there's too many males and too few females. In that case, the males force matings on plain zebra females and hybrids are born. 
They have slightly wider stripes, they have the white belly, half of them have the Mickey Mouse ears, and the hybrids are reared in the Society of Plain Zebras. Recent conservation efforts have enclosed the endangered Grevy zebra in protected areas where breeding and raising of foals can occur in a safe environment. The hope is that one day, these grevies will be returned to their native habitats in northern Kenya.